Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake from MyGamer.com, and today I am playing Mighty Goose on Xbox One. I played level one before jumping into the stream here, and this is how you start the game. This is the armory where you can upgrade stuff, and I do want to click on the settings. I like to do that. I'm going to turn the music down for the stream just a little bit so you can hear me a little bit better. I have auto fire on. This has actually been a godsend from that first level I played and I turned down the vibration just to save some controller battery juice. So, pretty simple. Let's get started. This game, if I had it, it's by Playism, and it's basically a Metal Slug clone. I think I like Metal Slug better, but this is still a pretty good game from the one level that I played so far. Do want to play more, I'm excited about this. Simple action game. And you can get a companion to come with you. We'll see that in just a second here. So the goose plummets in like ODST style. Mission start. And here's a chest. And I'm using the X button to shoot. Now I got a machine gun. And the A button jumps. What is this? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I just got myself a tank. Sweet, so I'm going to jump in the tank Metal Slug style, and if you see there, the B button, oh, well hold on, uh, another great landing, your target is the weapons convoy, currently refueling, east of your position, uh, these guys I don't think were supposed to be here during this cutscene, so I gotta maybe time my exit from this dialogue box, right, so I don't get killed, yep, see? And you get combos, and as you can see, it's basically a Metal Slug clone. And if you hit the B button, well right now, I'm because I'm in the tank, I can shoot these bombs, these missiles. But otherwise, the B, if you see in the upper right-hand corner there, it's little B with little arrow. That's a dash move, so you can dash, and then when you dash, you're invincible for that brief moment. And let's see if I can kind of pick this up when I'm in the tank. I can't. It is well animated. You can see that I have... I just took a hit there. When you take a hit, it kind of slows down, which is kind of a cool effect. So you get four hits. Oh, this guy, I can't... Okay, there we go. And one hit left. Let's see if I can take him out. Sometimes they drop health packs. And I can use one right now. Alright, I got blown up. But, so here's my health back. A little bit too late. And if I hit the Y button, you can see in the upper right hand corner, it almost, to me, I thought it, I thought it was like a, uh, a, a raptor. I just took another hit. But it's basically, you hit Y, and he just honks. But the honking, it literally does nothing. It doesn't attack, it's not a melee action or anything like that, it just, it's just there for stupidity. You can eventually unlock other other items and abilities, I'm sure, like a grenade or something maybe, but for right now, it is nothing. It is just a ridiculous honk. And you could hover. You saw that. You shoot down, you can do a little hover jump. You get other weapons. Maybe I'll get one soon. I just got one right here, but you can get a a shotgun, and it's this big, ridiculously huge gun, which is actually pretty humorous. Right, what is this thing? I haven't gotten this thing before. Oh, I made a bad jump. I think I have to go to the right now, I'm guessing. Can I go this way now? Oh, there it goes. To blow these things up. And other than the first time playing at level one before the stream, this is the first time I'm playing, so there was a boss at the end of the first stage. So I'm guessing there's gonna be another boss at the end of this stage. What was that? <laughs> what is that? pretty ridiculous. Uh, 
This guy has a shield. He's not letting me kill him. There we go. Rocket launcher, but I'm still in this car, so I'm not shooting the rocket launcher yet. Getting pretty crazy. Yeah, it controls well. There is no slowdown that's not intentional anyway. You get that in you get that intentional slowdown when you are right about to take damage or as you're taking damage. Let's see if I can keep this going. So the health packs or just for me and not for my vehicle, so I can't... I think I can regenerate my... Oh, I just blew up. Blew up. So... You want to collect the gold. So at the end of the stage, if you saw there at the beginning, you can upgrade your weapons. Find the weapon transport convoy. Mission complete? Uh-oh, you're sniping me. Or taking my picture? Binoculars? Yeah. Oh, what is that, a raven? Alright, this guy's not happy to see me. Sneak aboard the weapons convoy, great job, make your way to the front car and destroy it. The guy who was talking, you rescue him in the first mission. Here's the, the dash move, by the way. I'm going to hit B and you can do this roll. That's how you become temporary, temporarily uh, vulnerable. So you gotta, you got to make good use of that to survive. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And now I'm back to my put-put gun. Which is why you really got to put the auto-fire on. You just hold down the X button much easier to play, much more comfortable. Oh. Need to make my way to that front car. Aww. Oh. I knew he was going to do something. Is he coming back? Yeah. Can duck. Be good. Limited ammo. I'm not sure what I got hit by there. Sometimes there's just too many explosions, and it's hard to tell what's a bullet and then what's just a general explosion. Oh, here we go, another car thing. Can I jump? I guess I can do this. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. You're in this race to the front. I have missiles coming after me. Run and gun. I feel like it's been a while since I played a good run and gun Contra Metal Slug kind of a game. And I think I found it right here with Mighty Goose. It's very simple. Yeah, you're shooting the same guys over and over, but 
There's just a lot of action here, and I, I like it. It just feels right. I like the animation. I like the sprite work. I got another car, but I don't need it. <laughs> and then this ridiculous goose thing that appears for no reason. I don't understand what that is. At the end of the stage, you do get graded on the speed in which you beat the level as well as if you, like, killed all the enemies or something like that, how well you did, how much damage you took. And then you get ranked out of, you know, I think the S rank is the highest. Did I kill this thing? Alright, defeat the Mecha Worm. Okay, that might have been the boss. Or maybe a part two, this, this Raven guy. Look at that, that's a cool... Oh. No. There we go. Now here's the boss. So you can see the boss energy bar at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what this... Did it hit me? It hit me. It hit me again. Jeez. I did die the first level I played. I did die on the boss, the first boss. And hopefully... I am dead. I did not even... I turned into a cooked bird. Alright, let's see how well I can do. I started with my machine gun, which is good. That seemed kind of cheap, that hit I just took right there. Ride. I'm not sure where to stand. Let's try again. At least it puts me right here by the boss. So the checkpoint is okay. Yeah, see that's... I don't know how you... I guess you gotta maybe do one of these and float. Let's try that next time. hit again. That sucks. Alright. I think I might have the pattern down. You have to get the... No, duck. Don't. Ah. Uh, I knew that was coming. Come on, give me a health pack. I got my health back somehow. So there is no grenade option, at least not yet. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. I mean, you can't go anywhere. Alright, there's my... There we go, there's my health pack. Hover, 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 hover. Okay. Alright, doing okay. There's an extra health back there. I'm not sure. Oh, you just have to shoot down now. important to kill those flying guys because they give you the health pack and the machine gun. I'm going to keep that health pack there and try to take another hit before I grab it. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Alright, I'm going to grab it now. Ah, too many of these fireballs. Alright, he's almost dead. That might be it. I got it. Mission complete. There it is. Achievement. Road Warrior. I got a B rank. I 
died a couple of times. Killed well over 200 guys. Let's continue. All right, so start uh, new upgrades. Let's check out the upgrades for sure. Now, I did not get my companion in that last level. I don't think you got, you got to like find him. Morph ball. Hold the roll button to bounce on enemies. Sure, let's do that. So this is me, beat mission three to unlock this, four, five, six. So a bunch of criteria to unlock stuff. Let's go over here. Oh, now here, bombs. So this is the, the honk. Honk with all your might doesn't actually do anything, but feels kind of good. For a bouncing bomb, which explodes after a short duration. Yeah, we're going to use this because it does something. And then here's the companions. So this guy gives me machine gun ammo. This guy actually just throws like bomb eggs randomly. So I will have Commander Vark active, but you have to still unlock him in the level. And that is it. So, that's a good sampling. I'm going to play more of this. I like this game. This has been Mighty Goose by Playism, and I'm playing the Xbox One version. I think it's going to be available on a bunch of other systems too. And at the time of this recording, this is not available to the general public, but you give it a week or two, so probably by the time you're watching this, it is going to be available on everything. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K. G-A-Z. Please check out MyGamer.com. That's where we post my news, reviews, streams, previews, all that good stuff there, all that gaming goodness. And then you can also follow me on YouTube, post a bunch of videos all the time. Go check me out there. So thank you for watching, and until next time, game on.